So that's what you'll be doing at five, but what CBeebies doing to have big fun at five? Let's find out. Come on! Big fun time! Gather around one and all You gotta answer the call Listen now, look around you There's a magical world to explore to the sky. Who knows where we'll land? members of the Green Balloon Club and we look out for nature and wildlife around us. Would you like to come and join the Green Balloon Club? It's very easy. We'll tell you how later on. But first we'd better introduce ourselves. I'm Jay and I have a very special interest in all kinds of birds. Especially Jay's. A Jay is a very beautiful pink bird with blue flashes on its wings and a very clever crown it can lift up on its head. Like you can! <laughs> yeah! My name's Kat and I'm interested in all kinds of animals. This is Skipper. Skipper is a member of the Green Bunny Club too. And my name's Ant. I'm interested in all different mini beasts like spiders, slugs, bugs, caterpillars and creepy crawlers. Especially ants because he's called Ant. And this is Lily Rose in case you haven't noticed. Yes, I'm Lily Rose and I love flowers, especially lilies and roses. And I like... Being cheeky. Yes. <laughs> now you've met all the team. <laughs> oh no, I forgot Sky. This is Sky, and she's really important because she drives us round in her balloon. Hello there. Good to have you with us today. We'll be off on nature adventures every week and I hope you will be joining us. So do I. So now you've met the team. And I think it's time to do the Green Balloon Club chant. Are you ready, team? Yay! We love animals, plants and birds. We love snails and slugs. Large and small, we love them all. And we never ever step on bugs. Cause we are the Green Balloon Club. Now you've seen us do it, why don't you try it? First of all, you put your hands up and make rabbit ears for we love animals, plants, and then you make bird wings for birds. So it goes, we love animals, plants and birds. Then you make a snail and stay like that for slugs. Large and small, so you stretch as high as you can and then go as small as you can. We love them all and we never ever step on bugs cause we are the Green Balloon Club. Well done, now try it with us. Secret.
secret sign. If somebody makes our secret sign, then you know they're a member of the Green Balloon Club. Remember the secret sign. I play a Green Balloon Club member. Who is it? It's Ben. Hello. Hello, Hello Ben. Hello, this is Ben here and this is my tree house. I come here most of the day to try and fil film some wildlife. I have a camera that is not too big, not too small. And this is it. Um, I come up here for an hour or two and try and film some wildlife. Over there you can see some rabbits, not very clear, but you can still see them. Um, I can't make out what they're doing, but when there's danger, um, they stop, listen and turn their heads around to make sure they can see it or hear it, a bit like this. There are some rabbits um, over there behind the goalpost hiding, but I can just about see one's ears. If you just look right behind the goalpost, might just about see some ears. Rabbits have extremely um, strong legs to help them hop around, and they have small fluffy tails that um, what are very cute. Rabbits like to eat grass, cucumber, lettuce, and carrots. <laughs> My mum is very cross with them for eating her vegetables in the vegetable patch but I don't blame them. And they like to bathe in the sun. I know another better place to film some animals from, come on. You can just about see the woodpecker. Over oh yeah, there's the green woodpecker and the squirrel. There goes the squirrel. I think he's, oh yeah, he's digging for nuts. The woodpecker is looking for food in the grass. I doubt that he's gonna find any. So let's see if we can just find the squirrel again. Oh, yep, yeah. there he goes. There are some baby rabbits living under my shed. Let's try and film them. We have to be really quiet so we don't scare them away. When rabbits have babies, they're called kittens, the same as baby cats. I think they've heard us. The rabbits have just gone back into their homes. They all live in holes in the ground. They're called rabbit burrows. I hope you've enjoyed watching wildlife with me. Ben, that was brilliant. The idea of the Green Balloon Club is to find out about the world around us and share it with all our friends, like Ben did. Wherever you live, you're sure to have lots of wildlife right on your doorstep or outside your window. You don't have to film things like Ben did. You can just look out for them. So why don't you get out and get spotting? And to whet your appetite, here are some of the fantastic sights you might see at this time of year. <laughs> Musical moment.
bunch. My pick of the bunch this week is the strawberry. Strawberries like to grow in sunny places. From the spring, the strawberry plant grows little white flowers with yellow centres. And these centres develop into the red berries, so tasty. They are usually ready to eat by June or July. Watch out because lots of other creatures have them too. The strawberry is today's secret picture password. So all Green Balloon members have to know the picture password because that's how you get onto our website. Look, here it is. Each week we get a choice of pictures. Today we have the squirrel and the strawberry. And let's try the strawberry today. Yay! We're into the Green Balloon Club! <laughs> when you get in there, there's lots to do. This is where you can make your Green Balloon Club badge. Here is where you can join in with all our Green Balloon Club songs. Here you can make your own online nature scrapbook with all the things you spotted. And this is where you can collect green stars. You earn green stars by finding our spots and doing other activities on our mission cards. I could sit here all day on the website, but of course, the whole idea of the Green Balloon Club is to get outside and explore the world around us. So, I think it's time that we were getting ready to contact our ground crew. They're our team on the ground, ready to go off on a mission and find things out for us. Would you like to see how it works? Green team, what shall we ask the ground crew? What's the difference between a crow and a rook? Can they find a strawberry? How about how many eggs a butterfly can lay? What if we say, what's a red squirrel's favourite food? A red squirrel? I love red squirrels. Can we ask a question about that? Please! <laughs> it sounds like a good question to me. Are we all in agreement? Yay! <laughs> Go on then, Cat. What's the red squirrel's favourite food? I think we might have been sent a mission ground crew. Let's have a look. What have you got there then? What's on there? The mission is to find out what the red squirrels or the cane gorms like to eat the most at the Red Squirrel Cafe. Well, we better go and start making some tasty squirrel treats then. Let's go. Red squirrels are rare and can sometimes be very shy, but they do like to visit the Red Squirrel Cafe here at the Highlands Wildlife Park. OK, today we are going to put out a lot of different types of food for the red squirrels to eat. And what we want to find out is which food the red squirrels like best. So I've got some here already. Does anyone know what they are? What about this one? Pine needles. That's right, this is pine needles. And the squirrels live in pine trees, so that might be good. How about this one? Cones, that's right. And this? Carrots. Yeah, they're carrots. And this one, what's that? Turnips. Turnips, brilliant. And everyone, what's this one? Hazelnuts. Excellent, they're hazelnuts, fantastic. OK, so what I want us to do is to choose one each. James, how about you choose first? Hazelnuts. Hazelnuts, OK. Do you want to pop some of those into your bowl? And Donna, what do you want? OK, do you want to take those and pop some in yours? And Lucy, which one are you going to have? OK, do you want to throw some in your bowl then? Well, I wonder which one's going to be most popular. Should we take it to the squirrels and find out? Yeah, let's go. The food for the squirrels has been left on the table. Now we have to hide so the red squirrels don't get too frightened to visit the Red Squirrel Cafe. Yeah, it's coming closer. 
episodes coming back soon. Where's it gonna go to? We watch the food carefully and can't every time a squirrel eat some of the food. Okay then, ground crew. I think it's time to report back to the mission machine. What have we found? The chaffinches liked the look of my pine needles. They did, didn't they? And I think by the look of these pine cones, the squirrels have been snacking on them earlier. Yes. And how about you, James? I think the red squirrels' favourite food was the hazelnuts. Yeah, I think so. Look at all those marks you got. Well, in that case, I think it's... Mission accomplished! Back, Back to you in, in the, the green, green balloon! It is quite hard to see Red Squirrel because there are hardly any living in this country. But here is something that probably lives near you. Is it a jay? No! Today's bird is the robin. Robins are easily identified by their bright red chests. These bold little birds are found almost everywhere in the UK. They like to eat insects, but will often be found at bird tables or feeders. You don't often get more than one robin in your patch, as they guard it carefully. If you do have two robins, then look out for babies. They are brown with golden spots instead of the red chest. And is helping me make a Green Balloon Club badge for Skipper. We printed the badge off the website. The idea is to make a badge to suit you. I've got a flower badge because my name's Lily Rose. And we're making a badge for Skipper with buns because she loves buns. Now, you glue that side and then I'll stick them on. Is there another one ready yet, Lily Rose? Yep. Thank you. Let's stick them in the triangle instead. Okay. And then just in the middle of the oh, yeah. Go on. Shall we put a peg on it? Yep. Yeah. And I'll put some sticky tape on. Thank you. And that's Skipper's badge. Let's go try it on her. Skipper! Skipper! Mm, that looks nice. Good girl, Skipper. They're not real bones. If you made a badge, what would yours be like? Ice by some Green Balloon Club members. It's time for the Green Balloon Club Challenge. And here are some of the Green Balloon Club members with the Spot of the Week. Spot of the Week. This week's spot is Buttercups. And here are some clues to help you spot some. The Buttercup is a small flower which is usually yellow. It has five smooth petals that look shiny in the sunshine. One, two, three, four, five. It grows in grassy places like lawns and fields. There are lots of different kinds of buttercups like the common one and the meadow one. The stems are long and hairy. Each flower head has 30 little seeds in it. Some people say if you hold a buttercup under your chin and it shines yellow, you like butter. So remember the clues. 
It has five shiny petals. It grows in grassy places like lawns and fields. It has a long hairy stem. Now you spot some. Bye! You can find the green balloon spot at our website. And if you manage to spot a buttercup, you can earn a green star for your scrapbook. Hang on, team. We're coming into land. And whenever we land, it's time for a song! Goodbye. Why not go online and join the Green Balloon Club? Because the Green Balloon Club is about you and the world around you. Come back and follow us again next week. We might be heading your way. Bye! Wow, now that was an action-packed show. Yeah, the Green Balloon Club get to have lots of fun, don't they? Oh, mm. I wish I could fly up in a hot air balloon. Yeah, but Andy, you can join the Green Balloon Club too, you know? Just go to the CBeebies website at bbc.co.uk forward slash CBeebies and click on the Green Balloon Club webpage. Ooh. Now, you were watching the show very carefully, weren't you? Oh, yes. Great. So you remember the password, right? Oh, no. I can't remember it. Can you? So let's take a look at the password page, shall we? Right, okay. okay. So we've got a red squirrel and some strawberries. A red squirrel and some strawberries? Yes. Red! Yeah, Andy, I know they're both red, but which one oh, is it? Oh, of course, uh, strawberries. It's definitely strawberries. Strawberries sure? is a password, yes. OK, well, why don't you try putting in the password on the Green Balloon Club webpage? Or maybe you'd like to earn yourself a green star. A green star. <laughs> A big round of applause, please, for Reuben and Eilish here, because you've been busy in your garden, haven't you? What have you planted here, Eilish? What have we got here? Beans. Beans. And over here we have some... Tomatoes. Tomatoes! 
Yeah, gorgeous tomatoes. Oh, I love tomatoes. But what's growing over here, Reuben? Carrots. 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 And who are you growing them for? Mr Bunny. Mr Bunny, who's called Nibbles. Yeah. Because yeah. rabbits yeah, yeah, yeah. love carrots. Now, you two have done so well growing things in the garden. I have got a green star for you, Eilish. And I have another one for Reuben here. There um, you are. We've put your Dad, name at the top. Dad. You're going to make it a muddy brown star. Oh, that's lovely. Look at that. A green and brown star. Now, if you'd like to make one of these for yourself, if you've done something good for the place where you live, then remember to print it from the CBeebies website or make one with some green paint or some mud and send it to us because we'd love to see it. Put your name and age on the back so we know who to thank and how you got what you did to get your green star. We'd love to know about it. The address is CBeebies Green Stars, PO Box 1234 under W12 6WX. And I think I'm going to get very mucky now. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> now another way you can earn green stars is to recycle bits to decorate with, just like we're going to do with decorating my planter. Chris Poy and Andy have done this already. Now I'm going to make mine into an ant, and Andy is going to help me, aren't you, Andy? Yes, I am, Sid. Thank now, you very much. What, what can I do? Well, I've got these bits here, these pieces of pipe cleaner, mm -hmm. for the legs of right. our ant. Now I've already tied them together, so you just need to tie that one piece yep. onto the handle on the onto side this. there. Okay, I'll do that. And I'll do the same on this side. And these are for the ant's legs? Yes. Okay. And then I'd like you to decorate it. Okay, if with I... some more bits, but first let's bend the legs like this. So See how we're doing? Ah, that's brilliant. That that's brilliant. So okay. the ant looks like it's crawling through the garden. Now you can decorate. You can put that on for the head. Okay. At the front there. Right. Okay, let's stick that on. Oh, it's starting to look like an ant now, Sid. And we can decorate with antenna here. Pop those into the top. These are long pieces of wire with lids, bottle lids on the top there, boing boing. And now we just need our ant to see where it's going. Okay, so we've got some eyes to I'll stick on, eye on there. right there at the front. Fantastic! You're looking great! I think it's looking really good, don't you? Well, there'll be plenty more of the Green Balloon Club at the same time next week. Right now, though, here's Nina and the neurons. Thanks, Andy. That's good it. work. Acres. Looking for laughter? Ready to go! Then join your favourite Porky Pals for more animal adventures and really tall tales! We're going to be on the telly! Where? On Sea Babies, of course! That's where we have to go if we want to be on the television! Yeah. We're going to be a them! Jakers! Weekdays at 4.30 on Sea Babies! <laughs> Do you know which one of Nina's neurons is a smell neuron? Is it Felix? Marvellous. Luke? Cool Nina. Or Ollie? Standing by.